Oh my gosh. Purple haze. Purple haze. Kill him. <laughs> That's fire. Yo, his stand color looks look pretty fucking fire. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. What's good, yo? We back on TTV. Gang, gang, gang. If it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill murder and smash that subscribe button. And welcome back to RTTV, where we react to everything. 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 And we're back with Goldenwood. Giorno has a new mission. Mm -hmm. Him, Abakio, and one dude that we're not too familiar with his stand powers yet. We don't know his stand powers. Oh, Hugo. Fugo? What was his name? F-U-G-O. Fugo. Fugo. The fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fugo, okay. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that on this mission we're gonna learn about his stand. And I think that'll be the last one that we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause everybody else we know and everybody else is pretty lit, man. They got five oh, stands, six bullets, the best stand. And his, his real name is Sex Pistols. Sex Pistols? Like the band? Mm -hmm. Like the name of his stand is called Sex Pistols? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice, right? Yeah. Huh. Sex, Sex Pistols. Pistols. Let's get into this next episode, man. Episode 12, the second mission from the boss. From the boss. If you want to watch ahead huh. on our JoJo's reaction, check out our Patreon, man. We're up to two weeks ahead, and you can catch the full uncut reactions there as well. Patreon.com slash RTTV underscore. Pompeii, the city of the fucking volcano. That's one of the most fucking notable fucking volcanic eruptions in history. Which one? Pompeii. <laughs> Hey, take it easy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck down, fuck. Bro. Thank you, Abakio. Yo, why you spaz like that? For yeah, that? relax, bro. Fugo, bro. You yeah, have a short fuse. No correlation between the name and that. He's not wrong about that, though. Because... Essentially, bro, he's trying to go after the boss, which could get them killed. <laughs> I think they should be aware of that eventually. What the fuck? Who that is? Somebody's watching us. Oh, it's like homie. Remember, um, that guy from, uh, I think, what was it? This, it was the season where fucking, um, this was part three, right? Pony lifting all, them, all those yeah. people, yeah. Yeah, he's the one that killed his sister. I have to do that, killed his sister. He's not on the mirror no more. Oh, he's on the mirror. That kind of looks like him, too. <laughs> Can they not see his reflection? The dude's reflection in the mirror? Yeah, it seems like he's the only person that's seeing this shit in the mirror. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is completely different from that stand power. What the fuck? This is a completely different version of that mirror power. Mink! Oh my gosh. Damn, bro, getting his ass whooped. Yeah, he's in the mirror world. Mm -hmm. In the same place that Chopper and this girl is in for a minute. Carrot. <laughs> There it is. Let's see. 
Purple haze! Purple haze! Killer! <laughs> That's fire! Purple haze! It's named Purple Smoke. It's funny how he called it Purple Smoke. That's a translation. The actual name is Purple Haze. Oh, it popped out on the other side. That's trash. You know what Purple Smoke? Is it poisonous? Oh, maybe he goes berserk, because you know how like he goes berserk? Apparently he'd be bugging out. Wow. Poor guy, yo. <laughs> yeah, rock. That's trash, bro. And me and you only are here. Why are you using a stand? Go ahead up with me. Good luck, dog. Damn. What the fuck kind of smart guy is shit? Bro, he was in college at 13, bro. He's a smart guy. Hey, why the fuck you drooling by come to my house after dinner? You know why he's weird. Hell yeah, that's why I beat your ass with this fucking encyclopedia. Yeah, nah. Oh shit. Damn, that's the encyclopedia wow. the kilogram. Oh god. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of motherfuckers that do the same shit. The key with an encyclopedia? No, fuck you up an encyclopedia. Oh, fuck you up, period, if you try to do some shit like that. What? <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I like the sound of that kid. Oh, so he was his fresh recruit? Yo, Ucharati is a god. Bro, he's like. <laughs> he's, he's like JoJo this season or some shit, it seems like. The way he, what he means to these characters? Yeah, it's funny because it seems like he is. He's fit to be the boss, in my opinion, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Bro. That's just landing in there though. Damn, once it touches you, does that to you? Oh, Damn, shit. bro. Now I feel like he like, we gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. You breathe that shit, that shit gets in you, on you, anything. Mm, fuck, bro. That's why he can't use it often, too. You don't even gotta give me an explanation. Once I see you panicking like that, I know you know more about it. I'm getting the fuck out of there, bro. Yo, his stand color looks pretty fucking fire. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. And think about it too. Now knowing how smart this dude is, he really might learn to uh, reflect it off the real world. He said, yo, we not doing that, bro. Yeah. I feel like they both have a point, though. All right, fuck it. Go, you go find the key. I'm going to figure shit out over here. Look it. You seen that? Something coming from the shark. The virus. Yeah, yeah, the virus is now emitted in this world. Um, 
every time I close my eyes. Damn. All right, so you know there seems to be some some problems within the group. You know, Abaku, he doesn't trust Jorno. For the right reasons. Yeah, for the right reasons. You know, he's a new guy. I don't know about sneaky, but like obviously Jorno wants him. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's ambitious, and I think that's uh, he can tell. But I do have a question though. What? Do you feel, given how much of a, a not a liability, but how much of a risk factor it is to go after the boss that the the rest of the squad should know at a certain point in time? At a certain point of t- point of time, yes. Um. I honestly think they should know right now. No, they should know they right should, now. They should yeah, know. they should know right now. They should know right now, but I think Abakio not telling them is... Well, I think you don't know. You don't know. No, like, yeah. well, like, I know they should know. They should know right now, but, like, I feel like if he was to tell them that he he has a hunch or something like that, they wouldn't believe it. Right. He's on, I'm talking about, like, should... I'm saying that oh, should Joe okay. no tell... Abakio. The squad that he wants to take. Oh, the okay. Boss. I thought you. I thought you were talking talking about Abakio. Nah. No, no, no. guys are hunch. Um. I think she'll wait. I don't think right now. I think she'll wait till he got like he's more familiar with the whole squad. Nah, I think it, it, it's smart that he. It's smart that he doesn't just because you also have to think about the story that was told to um, Giorno about what happened to. People who tried. Oh wait, no, he doesn't even know that story. I'm tripping. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that story. I'm, I'm, yeah we, we know, know that, that story. I'm tripping. Yeah. He doesn't even know that story. Nah, I'm not gonna find um, some wild thing, bro. You just join a team and you look at the main people on the team. Yo, just letting y'all know, I want his fucking spot. Yeah. Like, nah, that's kind of. That's like a freshman walks in and they just like, yo, who the quarterback? What the senior? Yo, you. Yo. You're taking your job, bitch. <laughs> like, everybody in lineman, all the ass. Fuck y'all, I'm taking that shit. Y'all gonna be protecting me. Yeah, right? I'm like, I don't know. This one's gonna help the group get strong. We gotta get all these uh, doubts and things, and things out the window. I feel like he was right for coming at you. I don't feel like that. Yeah. He was right? I think they both have, I think they both had a valid point because um, what Abakio was saying is like, yo, we have a mission. It's more, if we, if both, if all three of us get taken out and we don't succeed in this mission, that's a bigger L than if one person takes an L. But at the same time, I feel like, I feel like Giorno makes a very valid point, like to be like, yo, he's actually in trouble and we can actually help him. And on top of that. And solve the mission. That's why I was like, I get both, I get where both of y'all are coming from. It's funny because the first thing you said, I think that applies towards Jono too, because if we don't go against this nigga right, this this dude right now, then it's like, he might take all of us out. Yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather us deal with this than we try to go after the key. And then while I'm going for the key, this dude took out motherfucking Fugo or whatever. And now he's after me type shit right now. Like if he picks us apart. Yeah. Like it's not smart to run away now when we don't fully understand the enemy's powers. I think that's some of the shit like that. Yeah, to that extent. Mm-hmm. I just think it's like, they both have different ways of looking at it. And it's just, I just think that's how people look at it. Like yeah, one sure. person's like, yo, let's look bigger picture. And he's like, man, fuck the bigger picture. You gonna let your mans die? And you know you can help him right now? Mm-hmm. Like that's some pussy shit. Yeah. I'm not for it. I'm not running. I'm not running off nothing. And he's more so like, bro, I'm not running. What did I come here for? I didn't come here to save his ass. Cause that's not what we came here for. Mm. Fuck Fugo. We came here for one thing: get the key, bring it back, do the shit for the boss. Other than that, bro, he on his own now, gang. Especially because we don't know what's going on. Yeah. So I think it's just how you look at it, honestly. Yeah, it's really. Yeah, I guess that's one of those save his own situations. I, I I agree more with Giono, but I get where Abakio is coming from. Yeah. That's Abakio. Yeah. yeah. I guess it depends how big the mission is, cause like. I don't know. I, it just depends how important the mission is to you in general. I mean, it depends. If we were on a, if we were on a, a mission to get a trillion dollars, and we like we knew the trillion dollars was right there, and then you got caught up, and somebody in the group I is gonna be I, like, I've been going for the trillion dollars. dollars. Like, shit, I'm not gonna front <laughs> the trillion dollars right there. I gotta get the nah, trillion nah. dollars. Wait, it would be different. It's like, yo, your boy got grabbed up by one cop who has the potential to. Arrest your boy and call backup. So that means if I call backup, we're all not of us say no, that. nobody's. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's gonna be somebody that's saying no. Let's say Pat, and there's gonna be somebody who's like, well, yeah. Pat didn't want us to get that trillion dollars. <laughs> we did come here for that trillion dollars, right? Be, like if anything, we get trillion dollars, we'll go back and get Pat. Yeah. Let's get the trillion dollars. 
So it just depends on how you look at it. Exactly. Hmm. To each is my own. Mm. You know what I mean? Each of y'all. And on top of that too, Abakio is also trying to save his ass because he's like, listen, we could definitely potentially die right now because of purple, because of purple haze and how it could poison us. So we want to just get the fuck out the way because like even the way he was saying it too, he was like, yo, I do not want to be near that sand because the sand is extremely dangerous. Like, and we could die from that. F like, fuck the enemy. We could die from his stand and him not being here. Like, fuck the enemy for a second. And that's another point that Bakio seemed like he was trying to get across. Like, it's not even, I'm not even, I'm, I'm more or less about worried about the enemy killing me. I'm more worried about his stand killing me. Let's get the fuck up out of here and get this key. What do y'all think um, Fugo is up to? Hmm? Oh, what? IQ on 152 right now. Yeah, he got he got something up his sleeve that's gonna save his ass. Once he knows the crows and everything is being reflected from what's going on in the real world, I think right now he's calculating how to go about his attack so that it could be inflicted towards this enemy right now within this mirror world that we're in right now. You know, I think it's gonna happen. I think that um, it shows dude about to punch him, but I think the, pun the punch is gonna be halted by the fact that he got poisoned because we saw he stepped on the poison. Yeah. From there, I feel like um, Fugo could do whatever the fuck he wants at that point. Yeah, because it seemed like this, he said that once the, the crows get exposed to the light, that it might get... Um, it's gonna get out of there. Yeah, the poison's gonna get out of there. So I don't think it was the step that's gonna poison him. I think it was the punch of the actual glass that whatever uh, purple haze released from his punch at that moment, mm -hmm. it seemed like it can carry over to this world. Because mm -hmm. the, the it looked like the the crow's poison carried on to this world. So maybe a punch from the glass can too. The shards mm -hmm. are. Yeah, the shards actually. are like, it looked like it was like, I had like some smoke coming yeah, out. Yeah, like you can poison. see like the poison emanating from the. Yeah, exactly. So I think, um, remember, because if, if he's in their proximity, then the smoke or the poison could just get to him. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna five kilometers. Like that. Yeah. So, all right, guys, well, we're moving on. We've uh, finally got to know all the the whole group stand. Well, besides the, the boss's daughter, I think she's obviously gonna have a stand. Yeah. But now we know everybody's their names and their stands. And the last reveal, Purple Haze. I, Purple that was, Haze, I like that name right there. Killer. Yeah. That was pretty fire, man. Hey, he looked crazy, too. I fuck with the look. Mm -hmm. Purple Haze. Mm -hmm. He spotted Dipset. Dipset? That was Robbie's uh, aim thing, right? That was you, right? Every time you send the message, it was like, Dipset. <laughs> I remember that shit. <laughs> That's what you mean? Instead of you should say ding, it said Dipset? No, yeah, no. You, never said, you never had that? Never oh, had that. oh, the Rito shit. I and, and aim, like, when you sent that yeah. shit, it was like, Dipset. My show was that. Yeah, show like, 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 like it just. Really? Yeah, yeah, I didn't have it for cool. aim, but is. sophomore year in college, I had um, my tech song was Maybach music. Like m -m 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 Maybach music. <laughs> nah, I would have hated <laughs> sitting there, Jerry. Yo. Like yeah. <laughs> mm, Every time you, you heard my Maybach phone call, they're like, yeah, that's Jerry's phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I actually missed that. Yeah, I would have the Sega song. Sega. Nah, that's actually that's a, that's a good <laughs> That'd be cool. Now you should have got the one from. Uh, no. So I know somebody that had that oh, shit. Yeah. I knew somebody who had Power Rangers. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. to Green Ranger, man. For real, dog. But yo, if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. It's your boy, Wells, the Anime King. Patrick R.T. It's the man, the myth, the maniac. Woke us on the score, R.T. What up? It's your boy, D.C. Square up, so R.T. And that settles it at the, the round table. table.